Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about my top three most overrated writing skills or techniques. And these opinions are just opinions, but they are built on watching and coaching hundreds of people from all over the world on different skill levels, uh, mostly intermediate writers. Um, so this will apply for around 90% of all writers, I believe, um, on average, okay? So these skills that I'm gonna talk about, they may be perfectly good and very important steps for high level or pro writers in some cases, okay? Or in most cases for pro writers, but they will not make a whole lot of sense or they might even damage your writing technique overall as an intermediate or entry level writer. So let's jump straight into it, okay? We're gonna start from the bottom and up. So um, number three on my list, the third most overrated skill is eye work. Like where do you look at the track when you're riding, especially in the turns, okay? So a very overrated um, instruction or technique I've heard uh, or seen people try to apply is to look far ahead into the turn, okay? In the extreme cases, I've seen people look up to 90, 90 degrees ahead into the turn. So I've just uh, drawn a turn right here so you can see what I mean. So here's a turn, right? You're coming into the turn uh, from, from here. And let's say you're right here at the entry of the turn, okay? Then I would say it makes the most sense to look around 45 degrees into the turn. So when you're entering the turn, you're looking at the apex where you're planning to sit down anyway, um, transitioning to sitting down and getting on the gas, then your brain has a nice plan for that. Um, but I've seen people look up to nine degrees ahead. So, so when they're entering the turn, they're already looking over towards the exit area. Or if they are at the apex or approaching the apex, they're already looking at the out the exit to the next turn. This might work okay if your name is Tony Cairoli. Uh, like we have up here nine time world champion. That's actually what uh, one of his early coaches saw in his riding technique. But for 90% of you people out there, this is not going to work. And the reason is that in motocross, unlike street riding or MotoGP, you have unevenness on the track. It means you have ruts, you have bumps um, and holes on the track, okay? So you need to look no further ahead than you are 100% sure where your front wheel is going to go through, which line your front wheel is going to ride across the berm or the turn or whatever kind of a turn it is. So that means if you're not high enough level to know where your front wheel is going to go through on the track, then you're going to get a lot of surprises. If you're looking like, um, like uh, 300 feet ahead and you have no idea what holes and grooves and ruts are coming up next um, to hit your front wheel, um, then you're going to get a lot of surprises all the time. And that means you're going to probably get thrown off balance and lose control. So the only reason why pro riders or high level riders are able to look further ahead is because they have already read the track and they have predicted how the bike is going to um, act through that line that they already know the bike is going to go through exactly and that will allow them to look further ahead. So looking ahead is a gradual process um, that you can work your way um, up from 45 degrees and then further ahead over time, okay? But of course, it's logic that you also don't want to look too close, right? So you don't want to look straight down in front of your front fender because then your brain doesn't have a plan um, on what's coming up next. So you need to give your, your brain the information that it needs to, to handle the obstacles that are coming up next. If you're looking too far ahead, your brain doesn't have any idea what's coming up next because it, it haven't seen it, um, probably in many cases. And the same applies if you're looking too close right in front of your front fender. 
your brain also doesn't have a plan for what's coming up next because you haven't looked up far enough to see it. So around 45 degrees, looking ahead into the turns is like um, a good balance uh, amount of looking ahead, okay? So that was number three. And I'm also going to make a top five underrated skills that actually is tied in with this stuff here. And I'm maybe going to put a link to it up here. In any case, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.